Well, what do you know? They took us down again. I'll tell you what, this is just getting, uh, it's getting ridiculous. See, AMC, we closed at uh, 1973. GameStop closed at 150 even. Sundial closed at 58 cents. Everybody's down today. And a good amount, too. Sundial's down 7.58%, 7, 7 uh, which is quite a bit. So, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what to think here. I, I'm telling you, you know, Adam Aaron needs to really, uh, you know, basically come out with some good news and move this stock. You know, the whole stock market was down again today, pretty much. Uh, so we, you know, we're just moving with the market. I think the market is uh, is adjusting to to the economy, and because of that, I think we're seeing uh, you know a, a significant drop in stock prices across the board. Um, you know, until they fix the actual stock market itself, you know, we talked about it yesterday. You know, uh, by uh, identifying the stock with numbers so you know there's no there's no synthetic shares i mean if a stock has an id number that's associated with it how can a fictitious synthetic type of share be traded on the open market uh if it doesn't have an identifier with it i mean if that would be right there would be illegal so you know uh, technology of that type is is sorely needed in the market. Um, is going to solve the AMC issue along with many many other issues in the stock market. You know, and ladies and gentlemen, you know we still have shipping issues, um, cargo issues. You know, bringing goods to our stores, uh, to our manufacturing companies. Uh, companies like Ford uh, are asking their workers to take a week off, 10 days off, because they simply don't have the parts to produce the vehicles. So they don't want to pay the workers and they send them home. Um, you know, and, and this is going across uh, all industries, not just uh, not just the industry of, of automobiles, but, you know, electronics is really getting a hit uh, because of the the cargo issue and embargo issues that we're having, uh, primarily uh, in the California coastline. Um, so, hang in there, everybody. You know, I understand that. You know this this play is is wearing on you. Hell, it's wearing on me. I mean, look, I'm about as positive person in this world that, you, that you're gonna meet. But I'm gonna tell you one thing. You know, I've about had it with this. I know you've about had it with it. You know, the whole reason I started making these videos was simply because I felt the need to talk to somebody about how corrupted this is and how manipulated this is and then how manipulated the whole stock market turns out to be, uh, you know, uh, and, and, and you're in the same boat as I'm in. So I'm able to talk to you about this, uh, you know, an open, uh, in an open type of form here on YouTube. And, and hopefully I get some feedback from you, you know, and if you've got something to say, put it in the comment section, make sure you click that like button, because basically, you know, I get, you know, a few views a day uh, on these videos, but I'm not getting anybody uh, commenting hardly, and we're hardly getting any likes, so either I'm not saying anything that's worth the crap, or, you know, it's just too much work to push the like button, I don't know. You call it what you do, what, what you will. But, you know, I'm not trying to make, what I'm not trying to do is, I'm not trying to make a career out of this, ladies and gentlemen. I've had my career already, you know. What I'm doing is looking to kill a little bit of time and talk to some people about AMC, uh, GameStop, and Sundial, which I have positions in all three. And I have positions in many other stocks. But these three primarily, um, you know, they're manipulated, but you know what? Even even the stocks that I have that I don't even think are manipulated, I'm starting to see things that make me think they're even manipulated. 
So, you know, I would like to stay stay on this forum, and it looks like I'm going to be here for a long time because it does not look like, you know, AMC or GME or Sundial is going to do anything spectacular anytime soon, okay? We're going to have to hang in there. We're going to have to be patient, okay? Believe in the due diligence that's been done, you know? Hundreds, if not thousands of people have come to the same conclusion over and over and over again that these stocks have been oversold and highly overshorted. And, you know, the day's got to come where they've got to pay the piper. There's just no way out of that. We all know that. The question is when. You want your money today. He wants his money yesterday. I want my money next week. We've all got plans. We all want to move on with life. But I'm going to tell you one thing, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to take what's happening in the economy to really crush these guys and bring them to their knees. And it's happening right now. It's a process that's not going to happen within a week. It's going to take some time. But believe me, the pressure is on. The downward pressure is on. They're just trying to shake us off the freaking tree right now. And, and get us to sell early. You're starting to see the videos out there. People are saying they want to sell early. You know, they want to get out of this play. They're done. They're tired. Look, don't do it. It's not worth it. Okay? It's just not worth it. You're in this play. You've been in this play for eight months, nine months, a year or more. Just keep hanging on. You know? Let's make this movement count, ladies and gentlemen. There's more at stake than just our money. We're going to change the way this market works, and we're going to change the way that they look at retail. Okay? Because without us, there is no market. There just is no market without retail. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to go out there and love somebody you don't know. There's the black light poster. Welcome to our sandbox. Always open and free conversation. Put your comments below. Click that subscribe button. And we'll see you later. Peace.